Now that sounds pretty good. I like the way that sounds so far. So next what I want to do here is sort of bring these strings in and get these strings going on here. So I've got some strings right here, two strings left and right. They're panned extremely left and right, as you can see there, at 100% left, 100% right. And of course in these tracks you see I have EQ, some basic EQs going here. These EQs do match up. It's important to keep my EQs matched up for my strings. And then here I've got a send in A. And this send is going to my string send. You can see it's assigned here, see? So we have one here and one there. It's not panned at all either, see that? So it's going right there, so not panned at all. I could, I could also pan if I want, I could do like this. I could pan them again and get a, a, a wider feel going on here. But this is also already, right here, it's already set to stereo. So you sort of pan that way, see that? So I'm sending them right there. I'm sending them to stereo. See? So you can do this like this. Let's play this back a little bit. Let's get a little solo. So right here, these are send. These are sending the audio output directly into this string verb. Okay. So I want to make sure these are about even here. That says 2.9. I guess one would be about 2.9 as well. There we go. And play it back. Now notice one thing. Before I had this pre fader thing. So I mean the signal came out of the send directly into the auxiliary return, which is this uh, string verb in this case. This is post though. This is after the fader. And it's going into this string verb. Now, Notice here, string verb also, we have a send out to the vocal verb. I'm doing this to get a separate little other feel to it also as well for the strings. So I want to blend them somewhat with the vocals. They don't get in the way. But I like this little verb I have with that. But I don't want too much of it. So I've got it set down a little low here, a little lower also. I want the vocals to be in that verb more than anything else. So I'll keep this real and bring it down just enough. I think it's good. Okay, so now I'll play it back. So I'm adding more reverb to it. Here I'm going to stop it sustains a little bit so it gives that kind of sustaining feel to the reverb. Not a lot of strings out front. I want the music to do that. I just want the strings to surround it a little bit. Now we'll play it back with the rest of the music. Good effects. Yeah, stop it. still sustain somewhat. I mean, I want too much of that. I'll keep it down a little bit. Sometimes when you're doing a mix, I want to make sure when it does stop in the song and she starts to sing or somewhere in this track, it's not going to really just sustain over her vocal uh, when she comes in. And we'll take, take care of that later on. And that's how it works with strings.